Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this Electron JS video tutorial, we will learn what are the global shortcuts and how we can use them. But first of all, let's understand the shortcut. Then we will understand global shortcuts. So let's say you are using any software and you just want to perform some operation on based on your keyboard keys. For example, you are uh, using VLC player and whenever you will just press space bar then your video will be pause that's simple and this is the example of shortcut another example you can press m for mute your video you can use uh, shift and arrow keys or control plus arrow keys to backward or forward your videos so these are the example of shortcuts so now what is the global short shortcut so when these shortcuts will work when your application is is even minimized then we can call uh, the, them global shortcuts because your application is minimized some other application is uh, basically open in your uh, uh, system but still your application can listen these shortcuts so now let's start first of all uh, what we are going to perform and what we are going to achieve in this video let's see so let's just run here npm uh, run watch and uh, basically we have a simple html page which is index.html uh, here right so what i'm just going to do on a press of key or any other key i just want to change this stuff here right so what i'm just going to do i will make another dot uh, uh, html page and when i will press press these keys th my index dot js uh, my index.html page will be replaced with the other dot html page right so now let's uh, create here one more html page which is other dot html and to just make it very quickly let's copy this code and paste here and uh, let's just write here other electron page that's simple so now let's ju just jump on a main.js and, and uh, import global shortcuts and you can use these shortcuts inside your uh, create window functions or uh, app ID function wherever you want. So first of all let's see that how we can use them in create window then we will just also uh, learn that how we can use with the uh, when ready function also. So just write here global shortcut dot register register is a function that will accept two parameter one is the key that you want to press let's say i just want to make some operation on k key and uh, then uh, second function and uh, it will call whenever we will just press key so let's say i am just going to write here win dot file load and uh, what file we want to load other dot html right and uh, after that let's make a console here also console dot one and just simply put here uh, k is pressed all right so now let's uh, just open your application and whenever I will press key, this content will be changed with the other dot HTML and we will just get a console here also. So now let's press here. Then now you can see that we got that uh, other content here and K is pressed. But if I'm just going to press it again, everything is uh, working fine. But uh, as we know that page is already loaded, so it will not gonna load again. So that's fantastic. So now how we can just uh, uh, use this k with uh, with the some control words like i just want to use shift with k right so i just need to put here uh, capital shift right and uh, now i will just write here k plus shift is pressed right so now let's save it so now again whenever i will just uh, press my k key then it will not gonna work here you can see that but whenever i will just press shift plus k 
then it will perfectly fine right even my application is minimized here but still if i'm just going to press here shift k then you can see that we are just getting console that means this is working uh, in a global way also even we can use here plus p also so now we have to just uh, press uh, uh, shift plus k plus p right we can make any combination whatever we want so how we can use these combinations uh, directly inside our uh, uh, after reading uh, our window right so then you can just uh, use like this and uh, just call here uh, create window function also right so i'm not going to load this uh, window again here so i can just uh, simply removing it from here and uh, we will just show them a warning so now just uh, press here k plus shift and now you can see that because we are noting not loading other page now but we are just making a console here and this is we are just getting so it will just working again if we just press it again even at the global manner also if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care thank you for your time